So this question is a diagram question. Anytime I have a diagram question, I like to pay attention to intercepts, which I don't have here. I don't have any X or Y intercepts. I just have this curve that's here. So not much, right? I do, I can tell where this point is, for instance. I can tell where this point is. Um, not much else, maybe this point here at negative 10 comma negative one. Um, the question goes on to say the rational function f is defined by an equation in the form f of x equals a over x plus b, that might be important, where a and b are constants. The partial graph of y equals f of x is shown. Okay, so this is, this is f of x here, the graph that we're looking at. If g of x equals f of x plus four, which equation could define function g? All right, so we're not provided really with any details. Um, again, I could use I could use these points. I could say, well, this is a point negative six comma negative three. I can use that one. This is a point negative five comma negative six. I can use that. And what I mean by use that is I could plug in x equals negative six and y equals negative three and get some sense of what a and b may be. But I feel like this should be a bit simpler should be a bit simpler than that. So I'm gonna just utilize what's been provided. So I'm gonna rewrite this here. So f of x is equal to a over x plus b. g of x is equal to f of x plus four. Well, what would that mean for me? That would mean that my a over x plus b would become a over x plus four plus b. Simplified, of course, no need for those parentheses. I just have a over x plus four plus b. So this is the structure, this is g of x. This is the structure of what my answer should look like. So look at choice A, all I have is an x down here. What happened to my plus four? What happened to my plus b? You're not there. So I'm gonna say A is not the right answer. For choice B, I have x plus four, but where's my b value, right? So where's there should be something else, another constant, right? We're told a and b are constants. So I really shouldn't have a four. The four should be a larger number once combined with b. So choice B is gone. Choice C, I have my x, I have plus eight. Now that, of course, could have come from x, x plus four, and then plus four, if b were four. So this is definitely something that could work out. And then choice D, I have x plus four, but then, you know, again, where's the B value? And then what is this x plus four doing up here? I don't have that in my, in my equation here. In my equation here, I just have an A. I should just only have a constant in my numerator. So the only answer choice that matches the structure of what I want was having a constant in the numerator, that's like my A value, and then in the denominator, having my x, plus basically another, plus a four, right? Plus another constant, in this case being four, I don't care why it's four. It's the only answer choice that fits the structure, so C must be the correct answer.